Hello and welcome to another one of our Total Success training videos. My name is Warren Wint, lead trainer of Total Success Training. Today we're going to be talking about a subject we've uh, blogged on, articled on, vlogged on many times uh, and a uh, subject which is, which is true to my heart. We're going to be looking at account management and uh, why am I qualified to talk to you about account management? Well I've been a account manager, I've been account manager for many years. I was also a um, sales manager, sales director. So uh, I've actually, if you're looking at this from a sales perspective and you're looking how to improve your sales and your account management proficiency, we actually run training courses about account management. Uh, you can find them on www.totalsuccess.co.uk. Uh, we're also available for consultancy as well. And today we're going to talk about, this is a short one, we're going to talk about something which, um, if you are an experienced account manager, or and more importantly, if you're new or less experienced account manager, uh, we're going to talk about something which oh, we can break down processes, lots of processes for account management, but one thing it is important to position in, the relationship between you and the client is the relationship with you and you. And we're going to talk about today about the power of you as an account manager, as a salesperson, negotiator, friend, devil's advocate, partner in success, whatever you want to call yourself. One of the key things are about sales and as current managers we need to be able to maximise on our potential and to maximise on the potential of the clients that we have at our disposal. Uh, but attitude plays a big part of that and part of that attitude is the internal dialogue, the mental picture you have of yourself. We call this the power of you. And you've got to be able to recognise this. A lot of sales and negotiations fall because the person who is supposed to be leading that lacks faith in them and their ability to complete a proper sales process. That might sound quite surprising, but attitude is important. If you feel you can, you will. If you feel you can't, you're probably just correct as well. And we have what we call a self-fulfilling prophecy, which sometimes lets us down. So let's look at some of the key things we need to think about. Number one, you've got to be able to look to the future in a positive way. Do not look to the future in a way which is negative. Any salesperson walking into a room thinking, I'm not going to get this, I'm not going to achieve what I need to, then the future looks bleak and dim and cold and unprofitable. And a salesperson walking into a situation where they're, where they're actually predicting failure, the failure's already happened. It's happened in your head. So you've got to think about the future in a positive way. Think to yourself what the opportunities are and focus on those. Don't let negative thoughts come through. Now, selling is as much a function of confident as it is, confidence as it is a function of technique. So you have to be able to think to yourself, right, how do I manage my attitude to be positive? Now, positive affirmations work, looking back at your track record, writing down your previous experiences and successes. Consume yourself with your success and what you're good at, not with your sometimes failures and your lack of success or your doubts. Um, so always think about yourself. Um, positive attitudes work well. Uh, I'm not a great believer in affirmations myself, but I do know to have confidence in yourself and to be able to train your mental dialogue to think, I have succeeded in here, I'm good at this, I've managed this, is a very important factor. Especially when you hit an, up an in negotiation with a client and it gets a little bit tough, a little bit rocky. You have to be able to get yourself, dig yourself out of that. So think big, think bigger. Look for, always for the benefits, never for the downside. Um, this is a key thing when you're dealing with customers. Um, sometimes customers are there to create a disharmony and mayhem and uh, distrust and negativity. Your job is always to take a negative and turn it into a positive. It doesn't do that, yes, but let's not forget what it does do. And this is what we're talking about. Okay, well, let's focus on what's important to you, Mr. Customer, about this. I understand, madam, that this isn't uh, ideal for you, but considering what your needs are at this moment in time, this, I would feel, is ideal for you. So always think about benefits rather than negatives. Never let yourself get let down by that self-fulfilling prophecy. Now, uh, as I say, you have got to position yourself as the problem solver. You have got to position yourself as the profit enhancer in any relationship. So you've got to believe in that yourself. Um, some people use positive visualisation. 
Think about your personal goals. Think what you want to happen. We, th what we, we become what we think about. Um, if you think that you are no good at languages, then whenever you approach that situation, you'll never be good at languages because that little voice on your shoulder says, I don't know why you're bothering. Be aware of that. So be aware of your positive visualization and I said, get rid of your negative images. Look for the plus factor rather than the minus factor and always accentuate the positive. Um, catch yourself doing things right. Recognize what you do. As we say, sometimes what we do is with, with account managers is get them to make a full page list of all of their achievements and put it up somewhere that you can see it on a regular basis. Remind yourself of the successes you've had, the qualities that you've got, uh, the awards that you've won, the positions on the league table that you have as well. Uh, this allows you to gain train. If you want to become good at something, if you want to run faster, you, you go out and running. If you want to get stronger, you go to the gym. If you want to be a more positive and more influential salesperson, you work on your mental picture, your mental attitude. As much as we say as working on structure. Um, always present a positive attitude to clients. A smile is what we call the international symbol of welcome. It welcomes you in, but it also shows confidence as well. Learn how to smile, not from the outside, but also from the inside as well. Attitudes are caught, not taught. They are contagious. And uh, sometimes people buy, we always say people buy people. Yeah, like, yeah there's, there's an element of that. But people won't buy off miserable people. Who wants to buy off somebody who is uh, dour, stoic, um, never putting off the positive side? And you might think, well, you've got to be honest with people. Yeah, but you're there to sell. And that's one of the key things you remember. I want to finish off with something which says, um, it's a quote from Eleanor Roosevelt, nobody can make you feel inferior without your consent. I've walked into many um, um, offices and thought to myself, oh, this is quite imposing. Um, this is quite scary. Um, I've, I've negotiated with groups of six people against me. Um, good experienced people. Um, don't put your own frailties into an area of insecurity. Uh, to be insecure, you have to agree that you are insecure, that you have nothing to offer. Um, control that mental picture, um, control it into the positive. The power of you is very important. So one thing you've got to manage at the end of the day is you, your mind, your brain, your thoughts, and more importantly, your attitude. These are some of the techniques in terms of managing yourself as a good account manager. Uh, if you like what you hear today, if you like what you've uh, heard, write it down, put it into some sort of action plan for you. Come back to our other blogs, newsletters, articles, vlogs. We have lots of free resources on our website, www.totalsuccess.co.uk. I know you enjoy reading them. We have lots of comments back from people and lots of comments about how much they have has helped them. We enjoy doing them and I'd like to say good luck. But you don't need luck if you've got a good, positive mental attitude. My name's Warren Wint, as I said, lead trainer from Total Success Training. And again, you can get us on www.totalsuccess.co.uk. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck.